All right, and we're we're, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello, Angela. Well, even though you're driving, I am glad that you are joining us. Drive safe. Oh, hello. Looking forward to hear it. Yes. I am very excited about this. I, oh man, I am super excited about this. It took all my power to not flip the book open when I was making the thumbnail last oh night. Oh my god. Well, unlike the Harry Potter books, like, all the illustrated Harry Potter books, like, I saw the leaked images and the preview images, so I kind of, like, knew what some things were going to look like, but this, like... Literally no idea. No clue. No nothing. I'm very excited to take a look at this. Um, I just have to feel like I gotta get the elephant out of the room and just say, look, I know it's not Winds of Winter. <laughs> um, but I really liked Fire and Blood, and this is different than Fire and Blood. So this is not an illustrated edition of Fire and Blood. This is a, like, actual history of the Targaryen dynasty up until where Fire and Blood ends. So it's much more like the world of ice and fire. So it's not like Maester so-and-so said blah blah blah. This is supposed to be very much like a, this is what happened, and then this happened, and this, this happened. It's not supposed to be, um... This like this contradicting, is contradicting, you know. This is the true tale. Mm-hmm. And uh I am I am ready to just go ahead and flip this open. Alright, let's alright, I'm ready. Also that's totally Valerion. Right. Oh, that's gotta, gotta be. It's gotta be Valerion. No right. other dragon looks as amazing. Actually, let me go on the other side of the table here. Oh yeah, okay. And I think but, if I open it like this there we can at, nice clear view of everything oh man well i think i know what this is that's the table there's the table and that's got to be Aegon the conqueror there at dragonstone it's got to be mm -hmm. that dude kind of looks like otto hightower i know it's not it kind of but like yeah that. you're right he does look like otto <laughs> that little bit that's cool that's pretty cool Look at there's little Targaryen sigils on the floor. Is that Targaryen? That looks almost like a Lannister. Sigil. Is that a Lannister? Yeah, sigil? it looks, it looks like, like a dragons Lannister. from over here. I mean, it no, would make... that's a dragon. Okay, it makes more sense. Wings. Okay, I see it. Now. It kind of looked like the Lannister lion, though. All right, so I misspoke. Not, not the Targaryen sigil, just like a dragon. Yeah. On the floor. Very cool. All right. All right. What a way to open up. All right. Ooh. Look at that. You know, it's like these images from these books. I'm like, is that art or is that CGI? I mean, CGI <laughs> is art, but you know what I mean. Right. They I do think... such a detailed job. It's just... It looks so realistic. I every think time. in this we're going to see a mixture of maybe traditional and digital. Maybe. Like, I think with Harry Potter, it's all strictly like watercolor stuff, but I think this is, we might see a mixture of both, but I think this is going to be a lot more digital artwork. And though, look at these swords Aegon's crown. The dragon. What Aegon's crown really looks like. Right. It's like, this has got to be Blackfire and Dark Sister, I'm assuming. Yeah. It's two. All right, let's see. Oh, and there he is. Blackfire does look like um, what it should look like in the show. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Oh, Valerion just looks so awesome, doesn't he? He really does. Oh, it's so badass. He just looks so... So scary. Makes me wish that he was in Fire and Blood. Or um, House of the Dragon. Right, why couldn't they have done the story of the Conqueror? Just so we could see Balerion. Maybe they will, who knows. So we've got a table of contents here. So, the Conquest. 
Aegon, Aenys, Magor, Jaehaerys, Viserys, Aegon the Second, and Aegon the Third, right here. The Dance of the Dragons. Yep, this whole section here, we're gonna see how accurate the show is. Right in here, and maybe some spoilers. Oh, here we go. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, is that supposed to be Valyria? Yeah, that's Valyria after the Doom. Oh, after the Doom. So. For this, we get a nice little description on the bottom. I think we're going to see that with all the illustrations. A little description. We, we do. Um, they have the same thing in World of Ice and Fire. Man, look at the color. All the of illustrations that. have little descriptions. Look at the color of that. It's so beautiful for so much destruction. So beautiful for a doom. Right? It's a lovely day for an apocalypse. Oh, man. And it's just such a contrast, too, because if you read World of Ice and Fire, they have the Valyrian Empire at its height, mm, the artist's mm -hmm. rendition, and then to see that is kind of makes me sad just a little bit. It does, right? Like, I think you can even see in this drawing they have the remnants of, like, some of those tall towers, because I think in World of Ice and Fire, it's, like, very almost sci-fi looking. Yeah, it is. With these, like, super spindly tall towers and everything. It was, like, the perfect mashup of, like, fantasy and sci-fi. Yeah. All right, can I go to the next one? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, my God. Why are you... Why? What the heck? She's, she's gotta. I guess so. I'm sorry. Lola had to come in and say hi. They to the con oh man. Right. That's not that's not Valerian. Who was um his uh, sister wife wife's dragon? It's uh, like uh Maraxes or Maraxes and Vagar. Yeah. Could so be gonna, Vagar. Could be Maraxes. Maraxes. Maybe Balerion's over there. Maybe Balerion's back there. Either way. That's great. awesome! Either way, great action shot. Great way to open. Just fire and chaos and blood. Oh, Basically so sums cool. up the Targaryens in one image. Right? Yeah, I know. Oh, and look at this! We get a lovely, very illuminated, medieval-looking map of Westeros. Very cool. I love this. Now, see, I'm wondering if this is Westeros, like during the conquest because it kind of looks like king's landing is pretty small how it's shown mm -hmm. i would like to put this against like the other illustrations of westeros from like a world of ice and fire and see if there are like differences and changes like if there are more places or different names for places or... yeah it's definitely simpler Because I don't think that, that just says Lannisport doesn't say Casterly Rock. That says River Room. That says Winterfell. Well, we know the Starks were there. They were yeah. the first met. Well, and we know Hall will be there. For now. For now. Until Aegon says, I don't want it there. Yeah. This is just really cool. I love that. I love the traditional style of that. Right, now what do we have here? The Kingdom of the Isles and the Rivers. Galath the Arrogance. I really don't... Baratheon. Yeah, I don't remember reading about him, but he's definitely a Baratheon. And arrogant goes well with Baratheons. Uh, I know that. Yeah. He's one of the, like, five kings... That says, no, I'm king, no, I'm king, we're all kings of our own places, and then Aegon's gonna be like, what if we were all united together under me? I like that idea. Oh, hey, while you're, while you're over there, no, no, the big waves might need some water. Uh, that's very cool, though, that they put that in. I kind of like his little throne here, it's got, uh... Got the antlers on it. I like the throne in the show more. I think that dude has a heart on his chest. 
I think his guardsman has a little heart on his chest, which is kind of a cool, uh, what? Call back to Stannis. Can I turn the page? All right. Looky, looky here. We've got Lannisters. Second. Oh, see, it doesn't give you a listing for every... It, it, unless it's going to tell you on the oh, previous page. So this, these guys are King Mern the Ninth, King Lauren the First, and their armies. I don't remember all these early guys' names. I don't. I don't remember their names. I'm you sorry. You call yourself a fan. I do hush. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Pretty nice Lannister banners. Oh, Lola, we can't do this right now. You stop it. You can't be in the pictures. You can't be in the pictures. You can't do it. I said, sorry, Lola. No, 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 no. She wants to be in the show, Ricky. Here she comes. <laughs> Lola, oh my god. I just got her. Okay. Here's a Stark. Torin Stark. Now that is a cool throne. You got the wolf heads on the arms. Yeah. And the weirwood tree on the top. And is that ice right there? That is. And he's wearing the old crown, like the King in the North crown. Very cool. Well, at this time he was the he, King in the North. Right, yeah, that's very true. The North is and always has been the largest region of the Seven Kingdoms. Though it is the least populous. Because it's cold. I mean, that throne is awesome. It's definitely cool. I like I like the Starks. Looking good. Oh my god, who is this? Maria Martell. She looks ancient. She looks like old Nan. She does look like old Nan. Oh, you got the Sun Spear throne. Oh, okay. Man, these these thrones look awesome. Right? They all look really cool. I know, everything's awesome. I love the detailing of their costumes and stuff on here. This is great. This is great. Yeah, these these guys are the only ones that are not gonna give in. And then we have... Ooh. Ooh, look at that. What the heck? That, what is that? That is Dragonstone. That's... Why doesn't it look like that in the show? I don't oh know. God. That but That's like what they describe it looking like in the book. Maybe it's just worn down. That is awesome. <laughs> right? That is the coolest castle ever. It looks like a dragon kraken or something. Maybe and you have like the big tentacle coming out of the water there. And I think that's a tail. Oh, is it? I think that's it a dragon like a tentacle. tail. This is a cool castle. That's what's up. That is a cool, cool castle. All right, Targaryens, you win. Coolest castle contest. They win. For sure. I think that's why uh, Melisandre does that whole thing about waking stone dragons and people are like, oh, it's gotta be the, it's, it's why she thinks it's Stannis and all that, because there's all those stone dragons. And I think Shireen really likes them. There we go. There's Balerion. Lighting shit on fire. What nice ships you have here. It would be a shame if they were to be on fire. Right? Larian looks so small there when he first arrives. 
I mean, maybe those ships are just really, really, really big. Alright, you got me there. Either way, pretty effing cool, right? Uh, I love how the, the fire itself is black and red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang, that's awesome. It's like the uh, Dark Sword, Dark Saber in Star Wars. Oh, Valerian yeah. shot black fire. Doesn't Drogon? I don't oh, remember. oh, and there's the. Uh, there's Heron Hall. There's there it is. There's there it is being destroyed and melted. Love that. Love that for you, Balerion. I love how it really does look. He made this really look like a melting candle. Like, mm hmm. That's yes. all it is. Just like wax to Balerion. Right. When you think about how big the castle is, that's like, yeah, Beleri that's that's about how big Balerion should be. God, that looks awesome. Are these, are these two people just laying down? There? I'm pretty sure those are just two dead people there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's exactly terrifying. what that is. I think that's just two dead guys right there. Poor guys just trying to do their job. That's a, du that's a dude literally falling on fire right there. So there you go, getting brutal. Love those details, though. Men falling. Caught totally on fire. It's great. Then we have a little scroll description talking... About the Valerians. About the Valar... Yep, about the Valarians. And then we have some fighting. Bit of a different style. It's a little bit more cartoonish than the other ones. I think they've got, like, lots of different artists who've worked on this. Which is... There's there's two. The illustrations are done by, uh... The two people on the... Yeah. Elio Garcia and Linda and Tonson. Did they do the illustrations? Did they help him write this? Uh, illustrations. I know oh. Garcia, at least. Does some of the illustrations. Does most, if not all, the illustrations. Uh, but yeah, quite a nice fight. Getting it. Killing folks. Lots of war happening. Oh, look at this. Ronald Aaron with Visenya. This dragon photobomb. That's Vagar. Oh, okay. Because Vis uh, Vagar was Visenya's dragon. She, like, flies... Oh, that... So that's... The Vagar. Yeah. The one who, if you watched House, House of, the... of the Dragon, got his chomp on, her chomp on. Yep. That's her, right there. She's just hanging out at the Veil of Veil, like, oh, really? You want to fight us? Try me. <laughs> and, like, just like that, they just, like, surrender. No problem. Just, yeah, okay, we're we're done. We're, we're not going to even try. Look at you, Vagar. I mean, this is like a Vagar. This is like a Vagar baby picture. I know, right? Look how little she was. Ah, now we have the reign of Aegon the First. Here we go. There's the throne. Our first glimpse of the throne, anyway. Lovely. Let's see how it goes for him, shall we? Hi, Jackson. Lodos and his followers here. Oh my god. Will you stop it? He's got some Jesus vibes going on this guy, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. Can you just chill? Can you just chill? These guys, I think, are, um... Iron Islands guys. Uh, I can't remember. I think, I think so. Can you, can you? I got cats distracting me. Oh, boy. Uh, the Dornish are not taking 
The Targaryens lying down, that's what. They are not having it. The Dornishmen are like, nah! Screw the Targaryens. We don't want them to be our kings and queens. It's always the Dornish, isn't it? It is. They just want to do their own thing. Right. You're tired of this king of Westeros. Leave us alone. I think it's still Old Town attacked. Look, there's Old Town. Well, Basically, the... during the conquest, everything got attacked. Everything got burned. Pretty much. Till people said, all right, I'm done with having my home burned. We will, we will accept you as king. Ex unless you're Dornish. And they get to get away with it. You can almost see the Iron Throne. I love how the Iron Throne, like, they're bloody. At least they look bloody. Yeah, they do. That's pretty cool. Like, it's that fresh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it would have been cool to have an illustration of them, like, creating the Iron Throne. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, here. Lord Edmund, Lord Edmund Tully of River Run. Astute readers may notice that Aegon claimed rule over the Seven Kingdoms, but ultimately only conquered six. However, a shrewd bit of political maneuvering served a dual purpose here. For generations, the Riverlands had not been an independent kingdom, but instead had been traded back and forth between the Storm Kings and the Ironborn. By granting the Riverlands to Edmund Tully, splitting it apart from the Iron Islands, Aegon not only gained a valuable ally, but created what would be teamed a Seventh Kingdom, even as Dorne resisted integration into Aegon's new realm. So even though Doran was just like, nah, nah, and they, they said nah for a really long time, there you go, the Riverlands. Now oh, see, look. that looks like a nice place. I'd like to live there. Aegon's Court. Valerion's just in the background, just hanging out. Right, like, how terrifying would that be? You just see the dragon's head just poke up. Right, we're all here having a great time. It's all good. It's like that scene in Jurassic Park when the T-Rex puts his eye next to the car. Right? I think it's great that everyone's talking, everyone's, like, doing things, blah, 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 but then there's, like, always in the background there's the threat of, like, dragon violence. The dragon's just lurking. Mm-hmm. Soon. Soon. Oh, this is the building of the Red Keep? Yes, it says raising the walls of King's Landing. There it is. Only fishing village and armed encampment. Yeah. So this right here, this thing right here, is just kind of a bullet point timeline of all the things that Aegon did to grow King's Landing during yep. his reign, which is kind of cool. Because it was just this little village. He was like, nah, this is where I started my conquest. This is where I will end it. Right, this is going to be where it all happens. Now that's pretty cool. Right, that's the, pretty cool. The old table. This is the... the King's Guard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really don't get... Maybe in the show we kind of do. Don't get a huge look at the King's Guards. No, definitely not. I feel like you get a lot more information in the books and stuff about the King's Guard. You just... The show is pretty much like that dude has a white cloak on. He's a Kingsguard. And in Game of Thrones, they're all pretty much douches. Uh, pretty much, yeah. The Dragon's Kin. So we've got... Wow. That guy just, like, he has the most punchable face I've ever seen. That is Anis and Magor. Oh, I mean, she has the most... <laughs> no, it's a he. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, because that's definitely a beard right there. Yeah. So this is Aegon's son with Rhaenys, and this is Aegon's son with Visenya. Apparently Rhaenys was the one that he, like, really loved. Each of them just look like they have to poop right now. <laughs> um, I mean, that pretty much does encompass who they are as people. That's I, true. I think it pretty 
I think it pretty accurately shows it. Oh, and then we've got the death of Aegon. And the roasting. Too soon. We hardly knew ye. Now we have... Oh, the ring. Ooh, I like that. That's very pretty, right? Right? Like, the set... Does the set look like that in the show? I love the rainbow lighting. Because that's what it's supposed to be, you know? It looks very, like, spiritual. Yeah. With all that painted glass and... Well, it's always supposed to be rainbow looking, right? Yeah. It's always supposed to have the colors of the the seven. The seven and all that. That's very pretty. I like that a lot. Ascension and Rebellion. All right. That's a nice castle. That is a nice castle. Oh, it's is that a uh, High Garden? Lannisport. Lannisport. Go figure. Like, this oh. place looks really nice. It's it's Lannisport. Go figure. It does look nice, though. Are we going to get a closer image of Casterly Rock in that, this one? That'd be pretty effing cool, wouldn't it? The Vulture King and then Amagor arrives at the Eyrie. Ooh. The dragon looks very angry. Now, well, I mean, last time they were here, you know, they were burning it down, so... Well, they didn't burn it down because the Aarons were like, yeah, okay, no, we're, well, we're not they gonna... were supposed to. <sighs> I love the little blue accents on the towers. I don't know why, but I love the blue stones on everything. Well, that's like their colors, isn't it? Yeah. It's like blue and bronze. Blue and white? The Royces are the ones that have, like, the bronze in their armor. I oh, think. yeah, that's right. It's Royces. Um, but the Arids are, like, blue and white, right? Like, yeah. white falcon, blue background or something like yeah. that. I don't know. I just like that touch of the blue on the on the actual castle. It's pretty legit. Oh, more Baratheons. Gotta love them Baratheons. I love how every Baratheon, whether it's in the illustrated edition, in the shows, all look exactly the same. But that's awesome that they've kind of followed that trend that they look so much alike because that's such a huge plot point in A Song of Ice and Fire. It, to, yeah. Like, kick everything off. Yeah, the, the Baratheon line is like, the, their genes are so strong. Right, that it's continued through shows and all the illustrated copies where the Baratheons are just so much alike. I love that little touch, the dedication to it. Right. <laughs> the death of Heron the Red and the Vulture Hunt. Look how colorful everyone is. I love that. They're all so colorful. I love that. Except the stalks. Yeah, they're not very colorful, White, are they? White, gray, black. Yeah. They're the Batman. They're the Batman of Westeros. Now that is a that is a lovely dragon image right there. Now see that's how I picture Valeria. I mean look at that dude is like nothing. Size of Valerion's tooth. Riding uh riding on that dragon. Yeah. Yeah. I see why the series didn't want to ride another dragon. It's not the same. I mean if you got to ride Balerion, would you want to ride another dragon after that? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all, all right, yeah, fair enough. Dragon I mean, or no dragon, I'll take a dragon any day. I What I love about this whole thing is that Magor just takes Blackfire, takes Balerion, and just takes off. And he's like, yeah, whatever. I know Aeneas is supposed to be the king, but I'm taking all this stuff. You can have King's Landing. I got a dragon. I got the dragon. <laughs> And the sword. Oh, and look, Visenya's an old lady at this point. Now, Magor has like seven different women or something and can never have a normal baby. He has like a reptile baby, a 
his wife can't conceive and like all this stuff and everyone um yeah well look there's the faith militant look at that as in okay but oh look the rainbow sword i know that's so cool i was just thinking like the sword is rainbow that's pretty cool love that for them oh man why didn't what's his name the rainbow guard renly thank you it took just, me way too long to... I know, I, I've been thinking in Targaryen terms for so long, I was thinking Renya. Or, uh, Ren I just started yeah. thinking about, like, Dolly Parton, and then I was like, Joseph and the Technicolor? Well, well, at least I was still in the same ballpark. No, yeah, yeah. So now we get... Did you want to sit? Are you going to sit? Oh, no. No? Because the mic's, like, over here, so you sound weird. Um... We get the reign of Magor the Cruel. He's a douchebag. He looks like some weird cyborg futuristic steampunk looking guy. Look at that. Because it looks like he has like a glowing red eye. And right. then he's just like all metal. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like glowing rubies, but yeah. I know. Look at eye. Just first glance. But that, that is the Iron Throne. Right. Look at that yeah. thing. That is what I picture as well. Just like this big monstrosity. Right, and the steps are just made of swords too. Mm-hmm. Like, I think they definitely did better in House of the Dragon when it comes to uh, the Iron Throne, but just they just never reach that level where it no. should be. King Magor crowned. Um... Very oh, that, funny. There's just a dead dude in the back. Yeah, I was gonna say there's just a a dude uh, with his head chopped off in the background. Very telling for his um, his reign and his personality. Right, his coronation, where you would think everything would be peaceful. Probably one of the most peaceful times. But no, no, no. But I mean, I mean, he's having a great time though. He's doing what he loves. Never worked a day in his life. Right, just massacring people. Yeah. Well, he he did like to commit murder. He liked to kill people. Oh. Oh, that, that looks like a scene out of The Witcher, honestly. <laughs> he looks like Geralt there. Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah, he kind of does. A <laughs> little bit of God of War, too. A little bit of God of War flavor there. Gotta yeah. mash that O button. I mean... The man wanted to have children with everyone, apparently. All right, Geralt. And then we've got. I mean, it worked for Genghis Khan. That's so true. Why not? So you've got the Tiana of the T Tiana Tiana of the Tower. I think she was the one that everyone said was a witch and was like poisoning him so that he wouldn't have normal babies. I mean, she looks very much like a witch. That's for sure. And then we have this really cool illustration of the High Septon's Crystal Crown, which I just think looks really cool. I don't know. It's just got all those crystals just sticking out of it like that. It's... There's no, like, symmetry to it, though. That's the only thing. It just looks like the Septum, like, did some arts and crafts. <laughs> Isn't that maybe part of the point, though? I mean, you can't make seven symmetrical. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, crystal lattices are symmetrical and organized. So, we've got the poor fellows attack Magor's loyalists. Robin Hood. Yes. And his merry men. And then Magor and Visenya come to Old Town. So, I've got to say, this is probably Valerion, and this has got to be Vagar. I love, I love Vagar. The color scheme, the orange and the green. Mm-hmm. Right? Very cool, isn't it? Got that safety orange going on, you know? Mm-hmm. Must be safe when riding dragons. That's right. And the high tower looks kind of exactly like what I pictured the high tower to look like. Yeah. 
with the uh, the burning tower. <clears throat> Liberating Dreamfire and Quicksilver. Goodness. These dragons look great. These dragons just look great. They all just look great, don't they? Look at that. Look at that pattern. How cool is that? It's like it's... camouflaged almost like that uh navy camo. Yeah, but blue, yeah. right? Well, navy camo is blue. Oh, navy camo. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought I I don't know why I heard what you said, but I didn't hear what you said. I did. I just like it. It's pretty. I might be surprised that it's <laughs> navy blue. I know, but there's more dragons. Like, look at that. Like, oh, there goes navy blue. Yeah. Valerion just... Where's Chris, Chris Pratt when you need him? Blue! Eh. Dreamfire. Not doing so hot. Valerion yeah. looks so huge. And look at all these guys are just, like, doing things. Well, right, there's... like, what's the point? doesn't really matter what you do on the ground. It's whoever's dragon survives. Right? Whoever's dragon wins the f I don't know, I just really like the look of Valerion in this one. No, I mean, Valerion looks awesome in, like, everything. I love Valerion <laughs> in the illustration so much. I love the red feathery things going on here. Dreamfire just looks so awesome, too. Oh, yep, and then the 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 melee for Heron Hall. That is a very fuzzy image. But there's Heron Hall in the background, so we know where we are at least. Oh, look at this. This is very different. See, that's what they like throw in a couple of these <laughs> images where it's like almost not cartoonish, but more cartoonish. Kind of looks like 1970s fantasy, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, it's got this, like, retro vibe to it with the moon and the dragons, like... I mean, I like it. I do, too. It's very cool, but... It just does, throws me off, too, when it's like, oh, here's some... You have some... these, like, ultra-realism drawings of dragons, and then... Hey. Have, have some 70s fantasy. Which all these stones look like look dragon scales, super cool, super. Oh, okay. Oh, now we're just we're really switching it up. I know, right? Nineteen seventy. Like how about seventeen ninety? I mean, it's pretty legit. It's actually it's probably cool. before seventeen ninety. The tunnels of the Red Keep. So this is like the secret passages. Oh, um, this that is that uh, had built. This is Barry's map. Yes. The tunnels and things, literally because he was so paranoid. I love that dragon floor. That's cool. Right, so paranoid that he had everyone killed who built it. Right. But the only thing is he has all these passages, but that's just more ways that people can sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. But they can't sneak up on you if they don't know you're, that they're there. Oh, they'll know. Um... But I feel like that's also, uh, it's very Ivan the Terrible. I feel like that's where he got his inspiration from. Ivan the Terrible? Yeah. Maybe. Because he had St. Basil's Cathedral built. Mm -hmm. And then he had the eyes removed from the architect who designed it so that he'd never design anything as beautiful ever again. And... Okay. I mean, it's better than death, I guess, but still. The Black Brides. Look at these lovely ladies. They all look so miserable. The original okay. emo band. Well, I mean, if you had to marry Magor, would you be happy? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, I mean, eh, you know, you get to be a queen, at least. But he's a Have servants and stuff. I guess. There's worse things, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that. Is that a heart? Yep. 
Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yep. You just rip her heart out? Yep. It's a Temple of Doom action. Well, because they thought he was, she was like poisoning him or whatever, keeping him from having bibbies. But it's all good because now Jaharis is going to be the king. And here I'm, this has got to be Vermithor and Silverwing. Yeah. yeah. Vermithor and Silverwing. Vermithor, Thanks. who we got a little peek at. Yeah. The right. last episode of House of the Dragon. Oh, see, look at it. That's definitely Vermithor. That's yeah. another consistency I really like because he really does look exactly like the show depicted him. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty spot on. I'm loving the consistencies across like media types. And they're really paying attention, like when Martin said Vermithor was this color, this color, so they did it in the show, and now they're doing it in the book. Like the the colors, one thing, but the fact that like his whole facial structure and like is pretty the, similar. Yeah, there it is, <laughs> the true Iron Throne. It yeah. looks like a like a big pile of hair, honestly, in that, but <laughs> it's kinda rainbowy it's, too. Kinda. Of. <laughs> but that's like the idea of what it's structurally like supposed to look like. Yeah. Very big. Much big. Very sharp. Very ow. Oh, are these the religious fanatics? Right? They have that the seven the faith militant or yeah. whatever ragged silas and dennis the lame imagine just going down in history as the lame anything the lame oh well hey whoa 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 <laughs> it doesn't maybe we should start peeking to see you know <laughs> this is youtube after all the death you, you of don't, septon moon you don't see anything though so it's okay gonna make sure i forgot oh, okay. what we're reading you know we gotta check it all area and rayla rayella see now we're back to like that photorealism yep two of their it's kids really nice, I'm though. Assuming. such a happy puppy right and more more babies i feel like the beginning of this story i don't remember a whole lot and i'm looking at this like oh my god i don't remember any of these guys oh this is not good we're safe. Huh? I said we're safe. From what? So, well, we don't oh. want to show any, you know, nudity or anything. Oh. J there was a butt in that picture of Megor with the other ladies. They show that on, like, primetime TV. That's fine. Jaharis returns to King's Landing. Pretty sure That's as long true. as we don't show any other things. Oh, we're allowed to show butts, but nothing else? Yeah. Okay. Raina's wedding to Andrew Farman. There we go. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. There's a lot of black going on in that image. But there it is. It's a lot of nice atmosphere there. Oh, and looky that. The Golden Wedding. I bet that guy's a Baratheon. What do you think? What gave it away? Was it the horns? The dark hair? The huge beard? I mean... Maybe. All of it. All of it. Okay, all of it. This is the one that dies in childbirth. Oh, okay. She... Yeah, this is the one that was, like, the inspiration for Rhaenyra's mom in the show. Like, her story. Well, no, Rhaenyra's mom actually dies in childbirth. She dies, and then her child dies the next day. I don't think so. Bailon. I think they changed it for the show. No. It does happen. I will go find it and okay, find it. Okay, go find it. Go okay. find it. Really making the point. Yep. 
Alisane and Jaharis getting married. That's very cute. Look, their dragons are there. That's nice. Vermithor, Silverwing. So nice. So cute. Loving those dragons. This literally says, Reyna with the greedy Lannisters. That's what that caption says. What was it? Reyna with the greedy Lannisters. Well, I mean, that, that doesn't really narrow it down. That could be any Lannister ever. Right? I just love that, though. That's the caption. And look at these dragon eggs, man. Those are so pretty. Love all those veins and stuff on the dragon eggs. Them's is so nice. <clears throat> you ready for this? Thus did matters stand in King's Landing late in the year of 105 AC, when Queen Ama was brought to bed in Magor's Holdfast, and died whilst giving birth to the son that Viserys Targaryen had desired for so long. The boy, named Balon, after the king's father, survived her only by a day. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Look, Lord Walton Stark is killed by giants. Oh my god. Why can't we have this in the show? I want to see some giant fights with uh, some dragons. Wait, did that? I've, I didn't think like giants and that stuff happened after Aegon's conquest. I thought all that stuff happened prior to when they built the wall. Maybe he went north of the wall. I don't know. A map of Jaehaerys's royal progress. So when he did his big long like trips. Yeah. So King's Landing all the way up to. Oh, that's it? He didn't even make it to the north. Well, he goes on more than one. He goes on more than one, I know that. I love that dragon there. I love these. Um. They go to Winterfell at one point, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I was just teasing. More King's Landing, Flea Bottom, cooling off for another hot summer. This is Jonquil's Pool. Lovely, lovely. The redesign of King's Landing. Let's make it better. Let's make it bigger. Just pointing like, yeah, build there. While visiting the Dragon Pit, Jaehaerys observed that King's Landing was overrun with filth. King's Landing had grown too rapidly and in too unplanned a fashion, leading to narrow streets overrun with filth and sewage. And he was like, nah, I'm not into that. Let's fix it. Good on him. I feel like that's always King's Landing's problem, though. Yeah. All the way till Robert's reign. It just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure Jaehaerys made it a little bit better, and then it just got worse after that. So this is Alyssa Farman sailing to the Sunset Sea to find what's west of Westeros. I mean, that's another story I want to know about. What's west of Westeros? Yeah. And then we have Alysanne at the Citadel. Nice. Alysanne kind of looks like Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton straightened her hair. Oh, here we go. Queen Alyssa was close to death. When they arrived at Storm's End, they found Alyssa gaunt and heavily pregnant and Lord Rogard drunk and grieving. From the maester and midwives, they learned that it was too soon for the birth, but that something had torn within the aged queen, and there was little to be done to save ease her pain 
There was a small chance the maester of Storm's End could remove the child from Alyssa's womb, though she would likely die from the process. If the attempt was not made, however, mother and child would surely die together. Jaehaerys insisted that the maester do what was needed. The queen did die from the procedure, and the child removed from her womb was so small and weak that it was feared, it was feared she would not long outlive her mother. I feel like that's a common trend. That's the part. That's the part that they took to put in House of the Dragon, the procedure thing. Oh, yeah. That's what they. That's why I got confused. I'm like, no, there's something to it. The whole like, cut the baby cut out. Cut the baby out. Thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Farman committing suicide. Here's another interpretation of Dragonstone. Pretty Not cool. as cool as the other one. No, right? The other one was just super awesome. Well, I, I guess that's kind of a close-up. But still. But still. I mean, I like the spindly tower. Oh. Is that Balerion? Yeah. You monsters. In the dragon pit. Look, they're just walking cows over to him. Those poor cows. I know, right? Balerion looks so sad, doesn't he? Well, I mean, he was the last dragon to see Valyria, the last dragon to truly know freedom. Right? Look at him. And now he's tied up in the dragon pit? I know. That poor dude. I am sad. How long did he suffer in there before Viserys came and got him out? 20 years. Long time. Jaehaerys meets with the leaders of the free cities. That's nice. Look at all these guys. Look at those beards on those guys. Very right, nice. You got the different colored beards and everything. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. Very cool. Here we go. Queen Alysanne visits the wall. See? The wall looks pretty awesome. The wall does look pretty awesome. It looks very cold. I was gonna say, it has to be cold up there on the dragon, too. How cold it normally is at the wall. I wonder how cold the dragon is. Silverwing yeah, Chili. Oh, that's cool. Map of the North. The wall. That is pretty cool. Look, it's Mold these, Town. There's little maps we can just, like, look at for ages. Castle Black. Even has beyond the wall a bit. There's just giants standing in it. See? Just... <laughs> and that and that big uh, weirwood. It reminds me of Attack on Titan. That's why they built the wall. <laughs> Titans. Keep the keep the Titans out. The death of Rago Draz. Terrible. Ah uh, yes, Draz. That that one guy. That who famous did the thing. thing. Lord Rogar presents his children. Ah, the Baratheons. The death of Boris Baratheon. <laughs> this, this whole story just kind of plays out just in the images. This it really great. does. Look, big beard though. It's, they all look he, the same. Like you Targaryen see. just gave him a shave. You say what you want to about the Targaryens all looking alike, but, I mean, come on now. They're not the only ones. No, that's true. For different reasons, though. Sir Lucamore's pleas. God, I feel like there's so much stuff that I just do not remember. <clears throat> like, who is this guy? I don't remember. It's a nice illustration, but I don't remember. Well, I mean, I read it. Fire and Blood through once, and I don't think one time is enough to recall all the different names and all the different people that are mentioned. Especially because some of these people are mentioned for like three sentences. Yeah, fair enough. Viserys' first flight. Oh, just a baby. Just I a... mean, that's... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's neglect, but, you know. That's endangering the welfare of a child for sure. Yeah. Vagon, Vagon and Diella. All of Jaehaerys' children. 
Like, so many children. The War of the Hundred Candles. Ooh, that Balerion. Now that's terrifying. If you're this guy, that's your POV. That dude looks terrified right there, so, I mean. He's like, uh, we jump in the water, right, guys? Yeah. I don't think that's Balerion, though. Uh, no yeah, training Balerion right now. That's true. And honestly, the person on his back looks way too big, big. to be. Yeah. Um, riding Balerion. Princess Sierra is removed. Oh yeah, this is this is the girl. I think. Um, this is the one daughter that like doesn't do what her father what her Jahara says, and then like she goes. Across the narrow sea and becomes like the wealthiest brothel owner in this one town or some in this big city. She becomes like this big time brothel owner or something. I I vaguely remember this one. She was supposed to Little marry fingers. great 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 grandmother, right? Something, but she like says f this and goes to live her own life or something. Screw you guys! I'm gonna make my own business with hookers. And more hookers. The Sarah's last ride. Did you die or wasn't she like paralyzed or yeah, something? Yeah, something like she falls off a horse and like it, yeah. And then we I can't have. I remember if she dies or not. We have some very famous characters here that everyone should know. We have the wedding of Rhaenys Targaryen and Corlys Velaryon. What? <laughs> they look very different they than do. what I pictured. They Like, extremely. What? Are you sure? It says, next page, the wedding of Rhaenys Targaryen and Corl Corlys Velaryon. She doesn't even have white hair. Maybe they miscaptioned? Maybe, because that doesn't seem right to me either. Yeah, what? Right, let the... the oh. I think someone fucked up. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> the Death of oh, Prince okay. Aemon. Okay, see, that seems like an accurate... Uh, title page yeah that dude is definitely dead yes and that looks like Otto Hightower speaking of I was gonna say Tormund Tor yeah yeah maybe that's how Tormund uh ended up at the wall his you know great grandfather to whatever exponent killed that guy and had to escape oh is that the death of Valerian mm-hmm is that Viserys? It has to be. Who else would it be, right? Oh. I had to make it look like the saddest thing ever, too. It is so sad. Valerion. You done good, kid. No one knows how old Balerion was when he died. He was already a mature dragon when the Targaryens first came to Dragonstone, 12 years before Valyria's doom. His death in 93 AC meant it had been over 200 years since his name had first entered the Chronicles. So he's probably like 300 years old. Right? Maybe even older, you know, we don't know what sort of magic Valyria had. Maybe dragons lived to be like a thousand right. in old Valyria. And here's the, oh, here's the great council where they're all going to decide who's going to be the king. Or a queen. <laughs> Not. Nah. Right. So that was probably Jaehaerys back there that was um, mourning Valerion. You think so? Yeah. But Viserys was the one that rode him. Well, yeah, but still. Maybe it was. But Viserys... No, he would have been, like, 20-something at this point. So, yeah. yeah, that could have been him.
And then Jaharis passes. Yep. Mysteriously, as Allison is reading to him. Right. Right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mm hmm. A little discrepancy from. That was another thing they kind of took from the books and placed it into the show where it shouldn't have been. Yeah. Uh, the reign of Viserys the First. Here we go. Who is that all clad in white? I don't know. What a dapper chap. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Rhaenyra. Yep. And Cyrax. <laughs> Her dragon kind of looks like a big chicken in that, to be honest. Wow, that's rude. They got the plume feathers. That's rude. I'm sorry, he does. Yeah, that's very rude. Why would you say that about that dragon? I mean, I wouldn't say it to its face. But... <laughs> Piracy in the Stepstones. Well, we know all about that, don't we? Damon, hop on it. Get on that. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Rhaenyra and Alicent. Not, uh, there we not go. having a good time. No. I like how they actually made Allison look older than Rhaenyra. Since she's supposed to be like, I think, ten years older than Rhaenyra or something. Yeah, she is there's supposed to be def like quite an age gap there. For sure. Oh. Damon and Rhaenyra going on a flight. Together. How cute. How do you like Caraxes? Is he warm enough for you? He's not no. wormy at all. He really isn't. <laughs> I mean, he looks cool, though. I like his horns. Yeah, he does. But no, he's not as... I was just applauding them at the consistencies of the designs of the dragons, and then Caraxes, they're like, nah. We're not. We're, we're gonna stub him up a bit. I like the long sausage boy thing, though. It's my favorite. I, you know who I bet this is? Where is it? I bet that's Kristen Cole. I bet money. Yeah? Why not? That, that doesn't have a caption? And tells you? Oh. And no, it just says the great tourney of whatever. Oh, okay. It doesn't tell you, like, who it was. The White Knight. Ah, Caraxes. Is that Damon? That's Damon. Wooing Rhaenyra. It says Damon at Driftmark. I wonder if that's Lena. Not Rhaenyra. I like. I wonder oh. if we're not that far yet. I wonder if that's Lena. Doesn't look like Matt Smith to me. No. Kind of looks like Geralt. <laughs> Once it, maybe they Ger all just Geralt look like Geralt. Geralt the Targaryen. Or well, they're all witchers. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Damon and the Sea Lord's son having a fight, doing a fight. Someone's going to get chopped. Oh, and then we have Luke removing uh, Eamon's eye. Well, there it is. Yep. And I mean, that doesn't look like an accident either. No, that looked like it was very... Oh, that's the murder of Lenor Valarian. That's Tim taking the eyeball. Oh, okay. Way. Because Lenor actually got murdered in the in the book. Yeah. This is yeah, this looks like shit's gonna just happen and it's not gonna be good. Yep. I love how that kid's just crying. Eamon's being an asshole. Mm -hmm. And he's like, get off my brother. And then oops, sorry about your eye. The dragon looks very pretty though. That must be Vagar, right? Because he comes back from his ride with Vagar when it happens. That's not Vagar. Look how big those kids are. Perspective. No. That's got to be like one of their... That's got to be like Vermax or something. Mm, that's maybe. not Vagar. No way. Oh. 
The reign of Aegon the Sa Oh, he totally looks like a tool. Doesn't he? It looks like David Spade. That's gotta be Kristen Cole, maybe. Oh my god. The Dance of the Dragons. Oh, there's Viserys. Allison. Look at him. He does look zombified. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be Kristen Cole, and there's Alicent. Here we go. The Dance of the Dragons. Spoilers ahead for House of the Dragon. Right? The Dance's first victim. There you go. Killing that dude. Yep. Beesbury or whatever. Not as cool as having his head smashed into a... whatever sphere that was. Marble sphere. Marble jade sphere. Sir Stefan Darklin slips away. Run on away. What the heck was that? I don't remember that. Visenya's birth. Oh, is that Rhaenyra? And then is that the the dragon baby she has? No. So that's Rhaenyra giving birth to a reptile baby. This is just Moondancer. Oh, okay. Too young to carry a rider. It just lists all of the dragons that everyone has here. Oh, look at the three wild dragons. Oh, now that's awesome. Bobans, you're making noises, Bobans. I'm guessing on the left is the cannibal. He just looks menacing and dark. Yeah. It's like something that would come out of Mordor. Sorry, I gotta like look at it, look at it. Yeah, he's definitely the cannibal, the gray ghost, and sheep stealer. Look at I all, mean, the all the sheep. He's take he's got one. He's stealing one. Yeah. As we speak, caught red handed. Yep. Red winged. Oh, the cannibal just looks so cool though. No offense, gray ghost. Oh yeah, he's like eating a dragon. I just noticed that. Whoa. Oh hello. Is this Vermithor? No, it's Caraxes. He's bright red. I mean, he is in the show. He's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. He's a bright red man. He looks so happy, too. He does. He looks like he's having a good time, doesn't he? We're going to war. I get to set stuff on fire. He's a happy boy. He looks like he's having a good time. The Merman's Court. No, oh, look at the... Man, all the stuff on here is cool. Look at all the art. Sharks. All the kraken. Squid fighting a sperm whale. Mermaids everywhere. Pretty cool, man. Man, these thrones are awesome. Right? Say, why does everyone want the Iron Throne? Jeez. Oh, it's the three chroniclers of the Dance of the Dragons. Mushroom, the septum, the, that's cool. Oh, and look, here's Aemond and Lucerus fighting, and then there's the Baratheon right there. They're Telling him to get out. Cut your shit. Not in my house, man. <clears throat> oh. Wait, what's that? Helena's choice. I don't remember. This might be... Oh yeah, we're starting to actually get into like the fights. The greens and the blacks. Rhaenyra and Aegon's banners. The Battle of Burning Hill. Stuff has happened. Melee's Vagar. I like that art style. That dragon is very like... Chinese dragon looking. Melee's Vagar and Sunfire dance. That's gotta be Sunfire. Vagar and Melee's, I think. Maybe. Not quite Jim K. No, not quite Jim K. I like how brightly yellow. Uh, Sunfire is. Although, honestly, if Jim K is 
retiring from doing the Harry Potter series, like, oh, that looks so cool. I would love for the illustrators in from this book to do the next illustrations. To do Harry Potter? Yeah. Because I know these are more realistic and gritty, but it just goes with the theme of the show. That's true. I mean, Harry and Potter we, does get darker. We saw he can. they are doing a little bit of that, like, 70s um, fantasy animation style. That's true. So they have that reach where they could do more whimsical drawings. That is true. Hang on two seconds. I just want to... What are you looking up? I was trying to see... Um... What what dragon this was that is killing this guy, but I don't I don't know if I remember. And I don't want to spend too much time trying to We know it's not Arax. No. Definitely not. The Battle of the Gullet. Oh, is that Wildfire? No, that's Dragonfire. Oh, it looks like Maleficent. Kinda. You got like the purple wings, the black dragon and green flames. That's a sheet that's a ship. Oh, okay. The wings are I stand corrected. Still, kind of looks like Maleficent. I love that they all have different colored flames of dragons. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. The death of Jaceris and Vermax. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Gonna happen. It did happen in the finale, so... No, Luceris died. Viserys and Arax died. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Well, we knew this was going to happen too, but... Sorry. Oh, is that the Red Keep? Yep, that's the Red Keep. Then you've got Rhaenyra on the Iron Throne here. Mm -hmm. when she... I, love, I love the color scheme of this. Me too. Well, the red Looks and black. Like, yeah. Looks very Halloween-ish. It's got the black light going, a little orange glow. Kind of looks like our porch right now. Right. I just love Cyrex and Corexes over here, just chilling, doing things. Prince Aemon at Harrenhal. He looks pretty accurate to the show, Aemon. Right. Like, they pretty much nailed him. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Karen Hall still melting. <laughs> to this day, yep. No one wanted to fix it. They're just like, eh, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Rhaenyra and her heirs. So there you go. The only problem is Rhaenyra is supposed to, like, be kind of chubby, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She, like, loses her beauty as she ages. Yeah, Melissa she... is supposed to, like, retain it, and there's supposed to be this yeah, um, contrast between them in that way, too. Yeah, Alicent is supposed to age gracefully, keep her figure and all that, and Rhaenyra is supposed to not bounce back from having kids. Mm -hmm. And not age as well. So I guess one inaccuracy there. Lady Caswell's death. I don't remember. I know I don't remember what this is. I wish I did. Well, you see, Lady Caswell um, dies. Poss probably by hanging herself. That's what I'm assuming. Um, yes, you would be correct. By jumping off a high ledge, actually, of a castle. I don't know if I should go into spoiler territory anymore with some of this stuff. Just appreciate them. Just appreciate Just the illustrations. The art. Just look at the art. I'm not going to tell you who that is that just died. Oh, now that image. Ah, uh, that might be my favorite image so far. That is so awesome. It's pretty cool. Like, that is a terrifying image to think of. Like, what, what's the point? At that point, why are you putting your shield up? What's it going to do? He thought by using a mirror shield, <laughs> it would distract the dragon. He thought it was going to help him kill the dragon. If I use a mirror and it sees itself, 
He's <laughs> confusing Basilis or um, uh, Medusa here. A mirror shield reflects light, therefore it must reflect fire, because fire is light. Very hot light. Yeah, why not? Here is another pretty image I will not elaborate upon. But it's nice. Someone in uh, green bowing to Rhaenyra. That looks like a very big sword, does it not? That does. That looks very big. Oh, who's that? Damon and Nettles. Damon? What? I thought Damon... No, he hasn't yet. Damon looking old here. I mean... Yeah, I guess. Getting uh, getting up there in years. The High Tower host at Tumbletown. I feel like that's not spoilery. No. The High Towers don't like the Targaryens. Spoiler. <laughs> Who is? Aemond and Daemon at Harrenhal. That that dragon looks awesome. Right. What dragon is that? I don't remember what dragon that is. <laughs> uh, that was like the coolest looking dragon. Except for Balerion. Balerion is the coolest. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Is Dan just posting dragons every time there's a dragon? <laughs> I guess so. Um, by the time Our of her death... Our chat would be nothing but dragons since there's a dragon in every illustration. By the time of her death, Vagar had grown nearly as large as Beleria on the Black Dread. Oh, is that Vagar? No. Okay. But I just saw that here, so I just figured I would. Yeah, I knew that. Isn't she like the third largest dragon? Because uh, Meraxes was slightly bigger. I don't know if Meraxes was slightly bigger. But either way, Meraxes was dead for a really long time. Well, Vagar had a lot of time to grow. That horse is pissed. That horse looks more angry than his rider. Uh, well, I don't think the horse is having a good time. Or is it having a great time? Well... Murder. That's all it's thought about its whole life. Chaos in King's Landing. Oh, I hate this part. This is like my least favorite part of the whole book. I know. It makes me sad. Death of the Dragons. It's so terrible. It's so sad. I mean, they took plenty of them with them. That's not the point. They was just babies. They was just babies, Nana. I know. The Moon of the Three Kings. Ow. Oh, I think you got a little something stuck in your foot there. Yeah, right? Jeez. The battle over Tumbleton. Oh man, did that dragon just get like cut open? No, I think that's just what it looks like. Oh, okay. I think that's just the color. You know, there's our Maleficent. The purple wings. There you go. Dark body. There you go. Just, it only it has blue flames. Ruining it. Close. Kind of close. This is still like... Dance of the Dragon stuff, so I'm just kind of like... Mm. Just kind of flipping through. And yeah, just... Oh, like, that's pretty. Yep. Next. Yep. I'm trying not to... Oh, he's angry. Yeah, I think that dragon is a little pissed off. Looks cool, though. Very nice color. Vermithor. I like the uh, Sunfire. Sunfire. I like this little guy, though. Just... Ooh, ow. 
But now that, I love how it looks like it's CGI. It kind of does, doesn't it? It also yeah. has like a very dinosaur-looking face. Yeah, it kind of does. You take away all these uh, horns right. and uh, you have Jurassic Park. It literally looks like a dinosaur. Not going to talk about that image, though. Yeah, I'm hoping they do the dragon fights well in House of the Dragon. Yeah, I mean, this. they've been doing a fantastic job with the dragon so far, so... Look at this. Fingers crossed. Iron Throne image. I stand by it once again. The one thing they have never done justice is the Iron <laughs> Throne. <laughs> the only thing, right? Look at it! Look at it. <laughs> but he's not sitting in it. He's just all the way down here. He's not going to. I wonder there. why they didn't. Do you think they like didn't make it look like that just for expense reasons, or do you think they just kept it how it was in uh, House of the Dragon because they're like, no, we meant to do it like that. We didn't make a mistake. We want it to be a small throne. I don't know. Because they like tried to upgrade it a little bit in House of the Dragon. That kid looks as excited as that horse. <laughs> oh my god, that is a... Oh, that image is just fantastic. He is having the time of his life. His parents just gave him a sword and said they're going to Disneyland and killing everyone. <laughs> He's a Blackwood. Jesus. Oh, is he the kid who kills the guy at the meeting? No. No. More Baratheons. Man, the Baratheons everywhere. There's a lot of them. That one's going to die, though. The reign of Aegon III. Oh, is it going to be nice? Is it going to be swell? The Council of Regents. Look at that. They got rainbow flags. I mean, I think it's going to be good. It's gonna be a great time. Oh. That guy, Black Brother? Nope. Who is that? Cregan Stark. Oh. Okay. Come on, you couldn't tell he was a Stark. Well, he had all the black, so my first uh, thought went to the nice Night's Watch. Ah, uh, but I thought maybe by the, mis the look on his face, you would tell. He's it's like all Northmen, though. <laughs> the Three Widows. Some sad ladies. The Judgment of the Wolf. I mean, that's pretty... legit. Man, ice looks amazing. Right? A great sword. It's so big. A new dawn at court. The sea snake's funeral. Bela's escape. Alice Rivers arrives at Heron Hall. Man, we're just constantly going to Heron. Every I think all of these artists just all really want to draw Heron Hall. I think so. I think that's what it is like. Everyone wants to. I want to draw Heron Hall, Baratheons, and dragons. The investiture of the King's Guard. Man. Oh, so that. is is that just supposed to be like the King's Guard armor, the white armor? I think so. So I guess yeah. Okay. That's kind of more of what I pictured it looking like. Really. In my head. Like, when I read the books, that's what I picture it looking like in my... Oh, like, see, I pictured it more like the show. Oh, I pictured it, like, very white. Very white. <laughs> War no, and I peace. pictured, like, a normal, like, very polished steel uh, armor, and then, like, yeah, the pure white cloak like that. But I like this image. This is very, like, fantasy. Yeah. The king's ships approach Tarth. That's Tarth. Oh, okay. Not... What the hell, Brienne? Making life seem like you got it so bad. 
I mean, That's where you she, live? she lives on top of a rock, though, in the middle of the ocean. It looks like a nice rock, though. It, it is a nice rock. It's got... It's got some moss. It's nice. Lord Allen's fleet. Cuts down on the uh, amount of lawn mowing you have to do. Alan Valarion and Aleandra Martel. This looks like it could be like a classical painting. painting. It definitely but does. I, I do have one question. What's with the creepy people staring? <laughs> <laughs> that is creepy. He is, even has like a little mustache. Like is, he looks like a 70s porn star. Is that a mirror? That I don't know. Either way, it's creepy. It they're is. either standing in the other room watching them, or they're just sitting there watching. Like, oh yes, how is the wine? Ew. The Maiden's Day Cattle Show. Just cattle show. That's that's a big deal, I guess. Gotta show off the cattle. Look, a Baratheon. Who would have thought? It's gotta be a Baratheon. There's a stag thing there. I think that's. A I'm surprised stag. she doesn't have a beard. It's like dwarves. Those Baratheons. That guy looks like he's about to drop a hot mixtape. The regents accept Lord Unwin's resignation. Look at, look at him. You look like there's your artist, and then you know, you got the hype men. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that could be an album cover. Lady Johanna's Revenge. Oh, the Lannisters are up to some bullshit. Oh, no. What a surprise. Lara of Lys. Look, there's cats. Like, lots of cats. There are. There are one, two, three, four cats. This this one looks like she's, like, trying to fake being happy, and this one just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Nope. She's just like, yeah, whatever, take the picture. Well, it's a painting, so I mean, she probably had to sit there braiding her hair for five hours. A deadly hatchling. Well, wow, why, what? Hey, little baby, here, have this dragon. Dragon's just thinking, ooh, you give me snack. I eat snack. But it doesn't have wings. It's a sad baby dragon. Oh, yeah. It's a deformed baby dragon. I am sad about the dragons. I'm still sad about the dragons. The parley. The parley at runestone. Ah, see, look, they got all that bronze armor on. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Oh, there we go. Now like that's a dragon range. shot. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. That's pretty legit. That looks awesome. Sandok the Shadow meets Sir Amory Peak. That guy looks terrifying. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that's Sandok the Shadow. Yeah. Then, uh, this, this guy. Has been murdered. This is why you wear white. Dramatic effect. Yes. And everyone knows you've been murdered. <laughs> Look, it's Harry and Dudley. <laughs> oh my god, yep. Harry and Dudley. Literally. It says brotherly love. That's the caption. <laughs> End of the Regency. I mean, that's a badass sword. That is pretty awesome. Heck yeah. He looks like a Final Fantasy character, honestly. Yeah, he kind of does. Oh! Oh, and there, that's it. Now we have the lineages. I think, yeah, that's... We got we got an oh. ending. I, I mean, mean that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. cool. The Valarian ship and the Aurora Borealis. And the wall. This is uh this must be Eastwatch. Yeah, why not? 
But yeah, there's your family tree. If you ever wanted to know how all the families are tied together, there Just it is. Just know everyone's related to everyone. Well, I mean, you've got Damon right here, and then it literally goes all the way over here to Rhaenyra. And then they're... Their kids over here. And then all the way over here to Lenor. That's a lot. It's a lot. Even even the history books had it wrong. Yep, yep. They were Valerian. Definitely Valerian. Yeah, they definitely were Valerians. They were not strongs at all. Definitely looked exactly like their father. Oh. No difference. So. So that was pretty good. That's I, pretty epic. I think those illustrations are some of the best I've seen. Not just in, like, the, the Song of Ice and Fire books, but like, all together, out of all illustrated books. Those are definitely some of the best. Some of the most realistic. You're going for realism. I don't always say that realism necessarily makes the best, though. No. I did like the small changes, though. Like, there was variety. Um, I, I do like the fact that they had multiple different artists working on this. Oh, see, these are the artists. So it's not oh, okay. those two. It's all these people did the illustrations for the book. Well. Alright. Rolling. Everyone who's working on the next Harry Potter Illustrated, take note. Call up these people. They'll do a good job. Well, why don't... This says... What does that say? Right there. Oh. And what does that say? Right there. Urtech? Wait, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the he that that is the cover artist. Oh wow. Man, that is awesome. Thank you so much for dropping in the stream because uh you did an amazing job. Just low key, not saying anything until they're like, oh, well, the, uh, until, uh, you know, until we get to the end. Holy and crap, dude. Well, that's awesome. Oh, man, I got so many questions. That, what, literally, how long did we talk about, oh, this, this picture of Valerian is so cool. This illustration of Valerian is so awesome. This person's literally sitting there going, yeah, that might have been me. <laughs> Hey, I'm so glad you enjoyed the time here. We definitely enjoyed looking at these illustrations you did. Heck yeah, now I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. Which what? Which other ones did you do? Hang on now. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Dude, this is awesome that you popped in here, just to just to say hi and stuff. I'm so flattered and tickled pink. Now I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this says, you did this one over here. Now I'm going to go through and I got to look at them all. So, I mean, we kind of said what some of our favorite illustrations were. Uh, did you have a favorite illustration that you worked on in this? Did he, They did your crazy horse. The crazy horse. Yeah, oh my yeah. God, that's awesome. Your Your favorite horse drawing. This is so awesome. I'm so that's so cool. We have had someone who worked on this book here the whole time. How freaking cool is that? Hour of the Wolf is your favorite? Uh which one was that? Hour of the Wolf. I don't know how I'm going to find that. It it was near the end with the Starks. I just can't remember which one. 
Uh, I think I'm too far ahead. Hang on. I mean, personally, I think uh, my favorite was your work on Balerion. On the cover, like, that is just some of the greatest dragon artwork I've seen. Oh, Cregan Stark arrives in King's Landing. Ah, okay. Oh, jeez. That's gotta be in here somewhere. Hang on. Oh, goodness. That's, like, up here somewhere. Like what about after... you? I know you have a question. You're the artist here. I know. I know. Cregan Stark arrives. This one. Oh, this one. Uh, I thought it was the Night's Watch. I mean, this is pretty awesome. I love the horse. I love the braids on the horse. I'm just like, ah, oh, man. I feel like I have... Ah, uh, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just all... Oh my god, I bet you did. How did you get the opportunity? That's, I guess, my, my big question is, how did how did you end up being able to work on this? Mr. Stark looks very blurry right now. Oh no. Yeah, just There we go. There. Mr. Stark. I'm Mr. sorry. Mr. Stark. Lord Stark. Top <laughs> secret <laughs> info. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. But I mean, Industry this is just... secrets. Very, yeah, I know. Oh, that's just so cool. I, I just looked. You did quite a few. There's like, they've done a lot of illustrations. Yeah. They've got like three lines of. You're happy uh, to meet us. We're happy to meet we're you. We're happy to meet you. Holy moly. So did you read the books before um, yeah. hopping in here? Or were you just given kind of a description of these characters and then you just kind of made it up as you go? Really, the first review, I mean, <laughs> I I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. I'm loving it. Okay, I kind of assume that you were a fan because I could really tell by, like, the detail you put in. Sorry. Oh, no worries. My stomach was just starting to cramp a little bit from sitting. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I mean, all the consistencies across all the different mediums, uh, it seemed like all the dragons looked alike, and I, I can just tell that you, uh, you were definitely a big fan. The passion is very clear. Like, oh. So are you like a mega fan of the of the book series? Uh yeah, absolutely. We could definitely get in touch uh by Instagram. Um you can drop your Instagram or uh you can find the link to our Instagram on our YouTube page and just send us a message there. All right, man, we'll add you. And again, thank you so much for dropping in. That was, like, that was just a huge surprise. I know, this was awesome. Thank you so much for popping in on our little tiny review of this awesome, awesome book. Um, yes, and we can't wait to see what you do in the future. I can't cause... wait to go through with these and, like, really look at everything and read through it and... I feel like we've taken a glance at all these images and there's just so much to see in all of them that it's just like, I need to look at them better. <laughs> um, I'm just flattered you popped in to say hi and stuff. How cool is that? That's awesome. Ah, I'm just so tickled pink. 
That's like me right. being asked to work on something for Harry Potter. Like... I'll be right back. I just gotta go to the bathroom. I, I would die a little bit. Oh! Yes, yes. I mean, the work very clearly shows that everyone who worked on this was very passionate about it. The the All of the artists, everything, like... You could just tell this has been a labor of love on everyone's part, and it's fantastic. And personally, I would say to anyone out there who says things like, oh, well, it's an illustrated fire and blood. Oh, it's this, it's that. Like, because you have naysayers out there. No, this is awesome. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. <clears throat> but yes. Um, if you're gonna take off, have a have a lovely evening or day or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna stand back up. I thought I was good, but my stomach is starting to. All right. Ooh. Okay, so thank you, and best of luck with everything with you as well. So, hey, love, do you want to uh, come and we'll give our final thoughts? Dan's just trying to almost strike at me. How long do you think this is going to take to thaw out? Uh, a few hours. Yeah, Ertak did like the most illustrations in this book. Wow. Right? There's like four lines of illustrations that they did. Crazy. Oh man, he did this one too. This one? The um... Sandok the Shadow means honorary oh, yeah. yeah. No, uh, that was the guy with the sword looked like a Final Fantasy character. Self-promotion. Well, yeah, no self-promotion, but I mean, we're looking at his illustrations, so... Like, of course, he could self-promote. Take credit for uh, what he did. I mean, absolutely. I mean... 32. Oh, my God. That one, He too. did this one. I think that one might be my favorite that he did. That was... Yeah, that one was one of my favorites. I thought that one was pretty legit. Dang, man. Yeah. Very, very talented. I mean, everyone who worked on this is very talented. I think all... I I just... I'm in love with the... Even the parchment pages. Like, all the little details I like are it, so cool. Right? I like that um, every artist kind of brought their own style, too. I felt like... Uh, like the world of Ice and Fire. It looked amazing... But all the illustrations kind of looked the same. I mean... They, they were all the same. St they didn't look the same. They all had the same style. And you kind of knew what was coming. But it was nice that you had the illustrations here and there that were, like, different. Like, you had these old-looking maps. 
Um, Very painterly style things. I love the 1970s yeah. retro ones, too, that are in there. Or, um, uh, I, I'm probably not going to be able to find it, but, like, there, actually, I found it right away. <laughs> like, this style where it's, like, not abstract, but... It's more painterly. Yeah. Yormi went like he was going to bite so, me. Can you believe that? No, I cannot. Just that was rude. Um... Dang, yeah. Wait, I gotta check, because this was another one of my favorites. <laughs> Did he do this one, too? <laughs> um, I'm sorry we didn't go too into detail about some of, like, what's happening in some of the images. But some of it, I honestly just couldn't remember from reading the book from the very beginning. And other things were just, like, I didn't want to spoil it, because some of it is stuff that's going to happen later in House of the Dragon, like the show. So it was just very like, I don't know if I really want to say anything about what who this is or what is happening. Because it's probably going to happen in the show. Yeah. So. Oh, and then this art style I really liked. Yeah, that one's very painterly and stuff too. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Oh, definitely. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um... Like I was saying before, anyone who's like, well, I'm not buying anything until Winds of Winter comes out. Are, are people saying that? Yeah, people people were upset about this book coming out. Because they're like, what do we need an illustrated history of fire and blood for? We didn't even need fire and blood. We just want Winds of Winter. Like, people were kind of just, like, poo-pooing it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like... Six out of five dragons. Yes. Nice. All the dragons. Um... I think people are just whiny to be whiny. I'm like, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. We didn't need the world of ice and fire either, but that book is awesome too. Right, Dan? Anything more about the world is what I want. Like, this is different than Fire and Blood. It's got different information in it. This has the facts. Yeah. Fire and Blood was kind of like a Almost like a rough draft, when you think about it. It was Martin's rough draft of the history of the Targaryens. I don't think it was a rough draft. I think it was very much like a history as far as like traditional history goes, where you, you read like any history book, like it's any history book dating back beyond a certain time period where you have to say like, according to this person, this is what happened. According to this person, this is what happened. But you never really know. Whereas this book just kind of, I think, and I'll know like when I sit down and actually go through it, this book actually just goes through and says, and in this year this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened. But I don't think there's going to be as much about like who was having sex with who and who had a bigger dick according to the court jester and all the, like that stuff that's in Fire and Blood. Like, oh, I, what's the point? <laughs> yeah me too right i love the world building mm -hmm. all the details all the sigils and the house history and the family histories and, and the the geography and the detail of all the geography and and i've said it before but i think martin had to do these books to make a song of ice and fire make sense I think the man is a little stuck. And that's why he's releasing all these. So he has a little bit to, to pull from. I mean, that could be. I know he, I think he said, like, you've got fire and blood. That apparently, eventually I'm sure we're going to get fire and blood part two. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought this was originally. When mm -hmm. I first saw this announced, I thought, oh, we're going to get the sequel. Right. Wasn't the case. Um, but I think he also said at one point, like, he wants to do, with Fire and Blood, he wants to do the same thing with the Starks. Like, he wants to write a history of the Stark family. I'm, that would be cool. I mean, I'd be down to read it. Especially but I think because a lot that, of this... would, that would reach back into the time of the First Men. Which would be awesome. So we could literally see Westeros from the very beginning 
Right, like when when men first encountered the children of the forest and all the yeah. magic that was there before the Andals came and ruined everything. Because the first men, as they were like as cool long as with he the children of the forest. Goes back that far because I mean the Targaryens, he could have gone back to Valyria and given us a taste of that too. Yeah. But it makes sense that he wants to keep it in Westeros. But he would also have to go as far back as, like, there's written material. Or believably written material to, like, go off of. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that he wouldn't go back to Valyria because everything was destroyed in Valyria. The one with the conversation writing is Fire and Blood. So not this one. To answer Dan's question. Um, oh man, I love this. I want to just look at it and read it and look at it and read it. Um, it would make sense the for... The cover is just so sleek. This cover is awesome. Valerion just looks so badass. Um, and you know, maybe part of the reason why Martin is putting these things out, is, and, and I don't necessarily blame him, is maybe, like you said, maybe he's a little stuck and he needs to write more to get his brain jogging well i'm know? convinced that's why he put the dagger into uh house of the dragon so, so he needs that to he figure can... out how to get it off the ground yeah i feel like he was coming trying to figure out the ending and he needed a way to bring that dagger back because it's a Chekhov's gun you know it was there from the very beginning it started all of this it has to finish it. I mean, yeah. It could definitely be. It could definitely be that. But what about the Song of Ice and Fire? Damon's like, the what? Come again now? Song of what? Huh? Right? Um, on that note. I don't really have much to say other than it's awesome. Yeah, I mean. And it looks great. And it's cool. And it's I badass. Really, and I there's really lots found... of dragons in it. I really found no flaws in it. I mean, I, we're going to read it through at some point. You know, we haven't had a chance. We, I literally opened it last night, took a picture, made a thumbnail, and then we put it back until today when we opened it. So it was our first time looking through. But we're going to read through. And I mean, as far as looks and illustrations go, if you just want an art piece, you get it. That's it. Just It's w worth every penny. Right, if you just want something really nice for your coffee table and something cool to look at, it's definitely worth it. If you're going to sit down and read it, I'm sure it's also probably worth it. I mean, I can tell already just from looking through and reading snippets that I'm going to enjoy reading it. So, mm. um, but just as a centerpiece alone, it's beautiful. Yeah. So on that note... Thank you all for joining us for this flip through of the Rise of the Dragon, and a very special thanks to Ertak, who actually did the illustrations. The illustration you're looking at right now. So cool to have him join us. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for our flip through of Prisoner of Azkaban, Illustrated Edition. Much less blood, but. Also, no dragons. Not yet. Yeah. But there will be a dog. And the illustrations look very nice. There will be a dog. And a werewolf. So, alright. Have a good night, everybody. Take care.